In today's Blazing Trail segment of Ignite Success, we have two all-stars, Tony and Taylor Richardson, best known as Astronaut Starbright. So welcome, ladies. We are so glad to have you here. Hi. Thank you. So what an inspiration, and I consider you both inspirations because, Taylor, while you're out getting all these accolades and recognition, obviously none of this could happen without your terrific mom. Right. <laughs> so what helped you to create a daughter who's so inspiring? What did you do to nurture her to be so successful? Well, most people know Taylor's story, but I think it just boiled down to at the age of nine, she wasn't a strong reader. And uh, as a single mom, not making a lot of money, I didn't have a lot of resources. So I utilized the Jacksonville Public Library to help stem her reading capacity. And from there, she went to her school and started reading better. And she picked up a book by Dr. Mae Jemison, Find Where the Wind Goes. And it was such an inspirational book to her. She started reading more and just wanted to be more like Dr. Jemison. Of course, the first thing, going to space camp. <laughs> so I just tried to do my best to keep my faith grounded, um, find local resources that would not only invest in me, but would invest in her dream of becoming an astronaut one day. So I know you're at Bowles School now. <laughs> and uh, and so at the age of nine, you created a special program called Take Flight with a Book, is that right? Yeah, Taylor's Take Flight with a Book. Taylor's Take mm -hmm. Flight with a Book. So tell us about that. Um, well, it's a book drive to get schools with books, well, to give books to kids. Um, I started it because, like my mom said, I wasn't a very strong reader, and she had instilled in me that literature was most important in life and in general. So as a child, I wanted to make sure every kid had a book to read and could follow to their own dreams and aspirations. So, and I know you volunteered last week at a cause that's near and dear to my heart, Read USA, yes, which also <laughs> has the same goal. And we had book fairs all through the city last week, which was yes. wonderful. Ellen so Wiss fun. has been on the show. Mm -hmm. So now you have Astronaut Starbright, which is what you're known for, and it's a documentary. Tell us about that. Um, it's basically a documentary on my life and what I go through every day, why I help kids, why I inspire and do things like that. Um, it's actually directed by one of my close friends, Lana Taylor, and she's the same age as me. So it was cool to work with somebody I knew when I was little who knew Astronaut Starbright when she was nine years old. And we kind of grow together and she helped me work with the documentary. And I got to learn so many behind the scenes, like cameras and stuff, how things work. Right. So it was just a really cool documentary to help with friends and a great experience overall. So your mission is to help particularly people of color focus on STEM, is that right? Yes, ma'am. So it's an underrepresented field, sadly, mm -hmm. both for girls and for people of color. So you, right. can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Uh, well, after reading Dr. Mae Jemison's book, I felt that if she could do it, I could too. So when I started to get involved in space camp and you know STEM-related things, I noticed that it was a lot of white males in the field, and most of them wouldn't like. I guess include me in some of the activities I would go to or I just didn't feel welcome. So after having those experiences I felt like well what then maybe this is why so many people of color and girls aren't interested because they're not welcome or included. So I wanted to start a movement I guess you could say to bring more girls of color and girls in general to STEM. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I know that you are also part of another uh, film uh, right now so tell us about that one. Uh, Fort, wait, Fort Tim Stemp. No, the other one. Fly like a girl. Fly like a girl. Oh, okay. Fly like a girl. Yeah, yeah, she's got so much going on. <laughs> right. It's hard to keep track of this girl. Yeah. She's 15 years old, doing amazing things. She's met yeah. Oprah. She's done incredible <laughs> things, and she's in three films. She's got going yeah. here. So, mm. Fly like a girl is featuring 14. Yes. 14 girls in aviation and I got to work with some of the girls and they're just all really nice and it was fun to connect with them because they're interested in the same things that I'm interested in and we all have the same mindset and thing intake on like all career and fields and stuff so it was really fun. It's awesome. It's mm -hmm. awesome and I know you've got a number of things coming up. You've received a number of awards too. Mm -hmm. What have been some of those awards? Um, I know I got what are some of the awards, Mom? Oh, <laughs> God. That is it. I feel so bad. So Taylor has gotten a lot of awards. Um, she is last year's Root Top 24 Under 24 um, Aspiring African Americans um, 
and ph philanthropy. Um, and that's nationwide, right? That's nationwide. Which is incredible. Nationwide. Yeah. Uh, she, most importantly, at her school, the Bowles School, she's um, received the Presidential Medal three times. So, wow. Mm -hmm. Seventh grade, eighth grade, and ninth grade. That's awesome. And any other awards? I don't want to... There's so many There's so many I get nationally and here in Jacksonville, so I'm just honored for everyone. They're kind of just back to back, so it's kind of hard to keep track. But yeah. Really... How do you stay humble? Um, <laughs> it's an everyday thing. My mom, my mom, my dad, my grandma, they always keep me humble to never forget where you came from, always give back. So it's kind of a um, an everyday thing that you're constantly reminded of. And I'm glad I have it and uh, to give back and support others. So you do a lot of service work. I know that's important <laughs> to you like it is to me. It's one of my founding principles. So what what is your favorite service to do? Oh, favorite service? Um... That's Movie a good pass. one. Movies? I don't know. I guess I love I love the screens because it allows kids to you know have fun and also learn something and maybe take sure. from it. But I guess my favorite thing would be the book drives because it allows kids to like read and learn new information that could possibly help them in the future. So I guess I, all community service work is just <laughs> great in general. It is. And volunteering, we know, reduces stress, improves your livelihood. So we are thrilled to have you both here. Thank you for all that you're doing. Keep up the great work. You're an inspiration to us Thank all. You. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>